good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking as usual we need to compare our last uh, uh, expectations on the market with our uh, current results happened last week now if we see uh, what i did last week i thought that the euro usd will continue going more up and it will hit this resistance but before that i said that there will be a small reversal for the pair to actually hit the support here hit of this uh, level of the support before it actually start to go more up now this is what almost happened if we look at the pair so this is the euro usd we can see on daily chart that this candle the middle red candle this one it was the opening of the week and we can see it indeed reversed or actually showed some reversal happening on this level of the support as mentioned uh, the pair was actually expected to go more up and we can see this price action here uh, happened on last uh, Thursday and therefore it was expected for the pair to continue to go more up on Friday but however on Friday we had also uh, the core retail news on Forex let me show it to you we can see it here we had um, this uh, core retail sales monthly reports and the retail sales for the euro USD, sorry for the USD that also has affected the pair and that's why we can see the dollar has actually uh, gained uh, more strength and therefore uh, the pair went more down and we can see all of the dollar uh, pairs was affected by this news so however uh, let's go to the upcoming expectations now on daily chart we can see that the pair indeed after moving down now it actually about to hit this strong support level or it actually did let's see together the euro usd on the weekly chart so on the weekly chart applying a simple hit and run we can see that this was a strong support and this one as a strong support and we also here had a strong support and this support has been broken out by this by this uh, bullish breakout candle and now the retest of the level happened on last week so from my point of view i believe that the pair will continue now to actually uh, gain more strength and i think it should go more up before actually as i said before hit this resistance let me correct this uh, arrow so what i believe is the euro usd will go a little bit more up hitting this previous resistance before it starts shooting actually more down so what should we do with the euro usd it's better if we wait for the euro usd to reach a little bit more down this will be the perfect entry point on 1.11856 and i believe it will be safe to start buying the euro usd from this point and keep your position for almost 190 pips until the pair hit this previous resistance right here then after that we might be looking for sell but of course that is depending on what's going to happen to the market and if there will be any news that affecting the dollar so again i think the euro usd is expected to fall a little bit more down and then shoot up here and then it might reverse and go down but of course this is gonna happen maybe in the next uh, one month so again your usd is good for buy only if it go down a little bit to the support level let's go now to check uh, the gpp usd we can see the same thing happening also for this pair uh, the gpp usd has been falling now to hit the support level and if we check the weekly chart we can see that right now we are facing a strong support and not only that but the closing price of the last friday the closing happened exactly on this level on this very strong support and we need to see how the market will open on uh, tomorrow monday but what um, from my point of view i believe that the pair should actually reverse 
it doesn't show any symptoms of uh, breaking down from this support so far we can see the the, bo the bounce happening here exactly on this uh, same level as I'm always telling you to draw your support line we can see it exactly on this level um, if you draw your support line in a way touching both of the wicks this is the right way and we can see the reversal happened exactly on the same level so in other words I believe your USD, uh, pound USD should actually start reversing up hitting this resistance and then it might start to fall more down until hitting this previous uh, support level but let's see this on the 4 hour chart first so on the 4 hour chart indeed we can see that the pair uh, is reversing on the support level as well and if I want to apply the trend line uh, method on it let me try to draw the trend line on, on this level and indeed we can see even the trend lines is confirming that the pair should actually reverse and to go more up so I think it will be safe to buy the pound USD so let me just erase all of that going to the AUD USD we can see the same thing happening as well on daily chart and for our chart we can see the pair is also hitting a strong support level and look at that if you draw your support line as I'm telling you in a way touching the shortest week and those who are following hit and run uh, strategy they know very well that this is exactly the right way to draw the support line and look what happened the candle on last Friday did not close an inch below this level it never closed below it exactly the closure happening on this level and that is actually quite impressive so I believe from this again uh, AUD USD is also to go more up to hit this previous support on this level so we can expect uh, the pair to actually reach this point and then it will continue to go more down so we can expect uh, AUD USD for about 80 pips of growth so again Euro USD uh, should be I think uh, good for buy on this support immediately because the price action is showing something uh, positive and it can actually indeed uh, refer for a reversal let me just erase all of that let's now go to USD CAD now let's, uh, we can see the uh, USD CAD is now it's on the opposite now the USD CAD is hitting this resistance and again I'm telling you those who are following hit and run rules they know that this is exactly the right way to draw the resistance line in a way touching the shortest wick which is this one and we can see the pair has reversed on it therefore I believe the USD CAD will be good for sell until hitting this previous resistance here uh, th remember this is the 4 hour chart so again USD CAD should be good for sell until hitting this previous resistance which was also a support in the past this one and this is the resistance I'm talking about so I think USD CAD we can expect about 40, uh, 46 pips but uh, on the long run on the long run if we see it if we want to see the long term of this one USD CAD might reverse and go all the way down to the support level but indeed after that it should actually continue to go more up that is uh, that sound actually uh, more logic so USD, USD CAD is good for short time to sell but then when it's such the support level it will be really good to buy the USD CAD and should be safe to exit your trade at this next resistance right here let's go to the USD GPY USD GPY is actually still ranging on the same level of the support I believe oh I forgot to show oh, I forgot to show the results okay no need to show it now it's okay what we need to look for uh, USD GPY uh, still ranging on the support I said that the pair should actually continue to go more up hitting this previous support 
and then continue to fall more down however uh, the USD JPY is still ranging on the same level of the support number two so what we can expect now from this price action and this a lot of rejections happened on the support that the pair should actually now shoot more up but not for quite long time I think it will continue to go more up until hitting this previous resistance and then after that it will actually fall more down so again USD GPY is actually expected to be going more up and if we, we see if we see the four hour chart we can see clearly what I'm what I'm expecting is this the pair will actually go all the way up until hitting exactly this level of this uh, uh, previous support so the pair will continue to go more up and then it might actually reverse go a little bit more down hitting this support level and then it will hit this uh, resistance and after that we can see the pair falling down that is what I believe is gonna happen for the USD GPY last thing we are going to talk about is USD CHF now the USD CHF USD CHF is actually a bit tricky it has a lot of uh, support and resistance uh, levels um, it's ranging between a lot of support and resistance levels it might be tricky to track but we can expect the pair to go a little bit more up we can see on the left we had this support level and even here we have this support uh, USD CHF again I'm saying is uh, really tricky right now but I think that the pair will actually respect this support level because, because when this support became a resistance we can see there is a strong rejection how do we know there is a strong rejection we can see these long uh, three long weeks here these three long weeks here showing that the pair or yeah the pair was actually um, <laughs> let me tell you was actually not able to break from this resistance at all all these candles they closed below this resistance level not even a single candle closed above this uh, resistance level or this resistance line this is indicating that this level is really strong and I don't think the breakout from this level will be easy and we can see here there's one candle has actually broke from this resistance now the problem is this candle this candle the green candle the price action of this candle usually indicating a reversal and the market should actually continue to go more down but if this happen I think the pair will go a little bit more down just until this support level just until this support level and then it will actually continue to go more up until hitting this previous resistance that is what I believe is gonna happen for the USD CHF and actually it does make a lot of sense because this pair again I'm telling you uh, barely was able to break from this resistance level and we can see that the market has actually uh, started to retest the level we can see this candle close Friday or no this is a four hour chart we can see the market indeed guys has broke from the resistance and we can see this uh, bullish breakout candle so seeing the daily chart can confirm to us that the market should actually go a little bit more down testing this support level and this support level all together so after the retest the pair should actually start to go more up that was my expectation for this upcoming week and I really hope it will be a profitable week for everyone and by the way I just saw something that the pair USD CHF is now right now hitting a strong resistance if we look at the left we can see here a resistance level it's very strong uh, resistance which has become a support later but no matter what this is a very strong support uh, sorry a, a very strong resistance and now I believe it should be a resistance here but however again I'm, I'm sticking to my word uh, USD CHF should actually uh, rising more up after retesting the level on this support so guys that was my expectation for this upcoming week 
uh, I, um, I wish you guys, everyone, I wish you a safe and profitable trading. And until then, I hope that was informative to you. And I would like to thank you for watching.